Okay, folks, welcome again back to Whitetail Ski Resort here um, in our season-long series of Meet um, the Whitetail Ski Patrol. Now, we've talked to weekend patrollers, um, we've talked to paid patrollers, we've talked to week night patrollers, and, and we're going to talk to a weekday patroller, a guy, um, Marshall Hobson, a guy that came here from, from Massanutten. He transferred here a few years ago, and he's, he's one of our Monday through Friday day guys. And, um, you know, welcome... If no one's welcomed you to Whitetail yet, Marshall, welcome to Whitetail, and and just talk about um, just talk about how much fun you have skiing Monday through Friday here with um, not as many patrollers as the weekend or weeknight, but having a lot of fun ski patrolling at Whitetail. Well, we we kind of like that. We uh, we have the, there's a core group of us that cover the Monday through Friday. We know each other. We we call each other brothers because we are. Um, Came here from the nut. Uh, there were a couple guys that I patrol with there who uh, who came here and volunteered, and just they kept trying to coax me into coming here. They 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 thought I'd be a good fit, and they couldn't have been more correct. Uh, as soon as I got here, I felt like uh, I'd been a part of this patrol. They treated me like someone who was supposed to be here. Uh, they uh, they let me just do my thing, and I didn't have to I didn't have to prove myself. I just went out and did what I was trained to do, and they knew that. Uh, it was a good fit. Now, Marshall, again, he mentioned briefly that he transferred here from Massanutten down in Virginia, came up, uh, I guess you came north. You're kind of a Yankee now from a Confederate. But, um, you know, just talk about your, your experience getting involved in ski patrolling in Massanutten and how that, that transformed or transferred here to Whitetail. Well, um, I, I did not wake up one day and decide uh, to be a ski patroller. Um, it was one of those things that kind of fell into my lap. I had a, a pretty strong medical background and was up at the nut, and I met the patrol director up there, a guy named Bartek Dunowski, just a wonderful gentleman, um, still involved with the ski patrol there. And uh, the next thing you know, they were recruiting me, and I, I never looked back. It was one of those things that... Uh, I didn't plan on doing it, but once I uh, got involved, I realized, wow, uh, I'm so fortunate to do this. Uh, I, I'm almost uh, lucky that I'd gotten away from skiing and and being out on the mountain. I think my knees are still holding up at this uh, at this juncture. Um, and and by the way, I, I turn 53 tomorrow, and I'm very proud that I'm still able to keep up with these uh, kids out here on the hill, and I'm still uh, able to go out and contribute and and be uh, really involved with a a superb, really pro pro professional group of guys up here at Whitetail, both the paid and volunteers. Everyone takes it very seriously. We're all, uh, we're, we're all, uh, we, we all have a certain character to uh, us and why we do this, but when it comes down to going out on the hill and doing what we do, and especially when people are sick or injured, um, the professionalism up here is, is is better than nowhere else I've seen. Now we're all we're a diverse group diverse group of people here at Whitetail. We have you know engineers, we have all kind of professions and walks of life, but we also have some folks who come to the patrol with a medical background, such as an EMT or a paramedic or a firefighter. And Marshall brings um, a nursing background to white to the Whitetail Ski Patrol. And just talk about how the nursing background and being in the hospital setting um, helped you through the OEC and and to be a, a patroller. Well, um, first of all, I started off in fire and EMS, like so many of the patrollers up here. There's so many of uh, the guys, especially the weekday guys, um, that have such a strong EMS and fire background, where um, you really have to think on the fly. You uh, you're called out and you're given an idea of what you're responding to but and until you arrive on the scene um you never know what you have and uh yeah um i i progressed through uh fire and ems and and wound up getting a nursing degree and um what we do on the hill we're, we're medically trained um we're we're oecs which is based on the emt curriculum um and there's only so much we're able to do um uh, as an OEC, but what we do covers everything that we do out on the hill. Um, the training that we have, there's the uh, the the the, uh, the snow and and outdoor aspect to it, the, the being uh, in the cold and in all types of conditions and things like that. But the thing is, you're always having to think on your feet. No two calls are the same. No two accidents are the same. Um, no two responses when you arrive on scene are the same. You. Um, it, we, we do the same thing every day, but trust me, every call is a new—it's uh, a new adventure in many cases. 
Now, lastly, Marshall, I've, I've worked several wrecks with you, and, and you're as professional as professional gets. But um, I want to wish you a, a, a happy birthday a day early. I'm glad you get that in there. But at, at 53 years old and your experience in the ski patrol, what do you say to that 18 or 19 or 20-year-old that uh, is thinking about, hey, maybe that would be fun. Maybe that's something I want to do. Hey, um, you, you had an interview earlier with uh, one of our patrollers, Shane, who started this in high school, and you know he followed through it in his college years, and now he's doing it again. It's one of those things that once you start doing it, it gets in your blood. Uh, you, you love being a part of the camaraderie. You love being out there with the fellow patrollers and everyone who works so hard. Um, and a lot of it is enjoyment, but when uh, when things uh, get scary out there, um, things in many cases can't get worse and when you're working with a bunch of well-trained individuals who take the job very seriously and very very professionally the outcomes are almost always uh, just more than positive they uh, the outcomes are always great okay they say uh, once a ski patroller always a ski patroller but a whitetail we'd like to think that once a whitetail was ski patroller always a whitetail ski patroller again we're here for an edition of the uh, the season-long series of Meet the Whitetail Ski Patrol. And again, stay tuned for future editions of Meet the Whitetail Ski Patrol.